In this video, we're going to run through file change detection in iTheme security. I'm in the dashboard, as you can see, and I'm already in the settings panel of iTheme security. So I just need to find my way down to file change detection and we can get started. So what file change detection does is it just monitors the files on your website to see if any have been changed. Because if someone gains access to your website, be it just to WordPress or just to the server, then they're probably going to make some changes to files and it's really, really important that you know if that's happening so that you can take the required action to, to fix that and to stop that from happening. So we're just going to turn that on and now we've got a range of options available for us to configure. The first is to split file scanning. So what this does is it splits the scanning of your website into seven pieces. So plugins, themes, WP admin, WP includes, uploads, and the rest of your WP content and anything that it hasn't already scanned. This is really good if you run on a low powered server because it doesn't run everything all at one time. It actually breaks it into more manageable pieces of work for the server. So I think it's handy to turn that on and it's probably useful for most people to turn that on. But of course it will depend on your server. If you're pretty familiar with your server and the resources that it would require for this, you can choose to turn this on or off as you see fit. Next, we can choose to include or exclude files and folders. So at the moment, the default is set to exclude selected. And if you wanted to add any folders to the exclusion list, all you need to do is scroll down just a little bit and here you can see a big list of the folders and files that are included that it's going to be scanning at a base level. And if you want to add them to the exclusion list, so maybe WP config sample, you can do that very easily and just click on that negative button there. And of course, if you'd like to delete it, you can just delete that as it's only text. Then you can choose to ignore certain file types. And by default, we've got three image file types, two JPEGs, PNG, uh, and then you've got log files, so .log, and two more files, .mo and .po, which are language files. So it's very, very, very unlikely that attacks will be launched from those files. It is possible, but very unlikely. So it's mostly safe to just leave this as it is, but of course you can change it to suit your own security requirements. Then we come to the final two settings and they are regarding notifications. So the first one is about email notifications and that just means that if someone or something has modified files on your website, you'll be sent an email notification. Of course, if you don't want that, you can just uncheck that box, but I strongly advise against that. I really strongly suggest you leave it on. And the next one is just pertaining to the notification displayed in the WordPress dashboard. Once again, it's on by default. I strongly suggest leaving it on. You can turn it off if you like, but yeah, we, we cannot recommend that you do that because it may mean that there's a longer period of time between things going awry on your server and you being aware of it. Once you're done making any changes in here, of course, click on save all changes. And as always, if you have any questions about anything we've done here, just feel free to ask in the comments below.